Digging in. Here's Gibbs Stewart. Stewart just wedging forward, trying to get in. Did not do it. He's doing it. That's all right. 11.54 left to go. Okay, so the Elvis Tigers now will try to move it forward a little more. Let's try it again. Let's see. Quarterback Nick. Is he in? The official says, I don't believe so. I think the official says he's going to push him back. The officials did not give a signal that he made it in, so the Elba Tigers may have to try it again. Marty Marler, number 15. Again, he takes and he rolls. Marler is going to be thrown for a loss. Marty Marler thrown for a loss. Back at about the one yard line, so it is fourth down now and goal to go from the one. The Elba Tigers calling time. Timeout on the field with a score. The Elba Tigers 20. The Andalusia Bulldogs, 13. The year is Gill up the middle to Stewart. Let's see. He did not make it. Andalusia has held at the one-foot line to take the lead against the Elba Tigers. Okay. That's uh, the give to number 27. <laughs> And they will get their hands on the ball. So, a standing ovation for the Elba defensive unit. Here it is. It's a short one. The Elba Tigers want to get it. That's the field position. Harrison is knocked down at the 50, but the Elba Tigers have the football. Mike Harrison, number 41, has it bounced, bounced right up and hit him, and they say he got it at the 48. So, it's first and 10 for the Elba Tigers. And the clock is running. The Elba Tigers need to hold the ball, need to pick up a couple of first downs, and score if they can. Here's Stewart, number 44. Stewart is losing the football. Let's see if they mark it down. I believe the official's going to say the ball was dead. And Stewart was really hit. But the Elba Tigers, the Elba Tigers recovered the fumble anyway with an eye formation in the Elba backfield. Takes. Here's the Stewart. Stewart is running. Stewart is running to the 25 yard line before he's taken down. They place him at the 26, but Jeff Stewart just picked up a big first down for the Elba Tigers. 22 to 13, and the clock runs with 8.40. The Elba Tigers with a first down. Give the Hornstead. Hornstead was in motion, moving before the snap of the ball. That'll cost the Elba Tigers five yards. Motion penalty against the Elba Tigers. Decline. Hornstead was stopped for no gain. The clock now runs. And the loser will run 13. He needs to give the horsehead. Horsehead's got a block. Horsehead is down the sideline. And on a 26 yard run, has stretched the elbow lead 28 to 13. Bradshaw will try to make it 29 with 8.11 to go. High snap. Here it is. No good. It was a high snap. No good. And as the team come back up field to score, the Elba Tigers 28, the Andalusia Bulldogs 13. The Andalusia Bulldogs facing an uphill battle. But 8 minutes, 11 seconds is a lot of time for Coach Sharp's team as they have uh, the Elba Tigers now will kick as Bradshaw kicks. It's a high spinning in overhead kick. The Elba Tigers get it down the ball. Ball has got the ball, and the Elba Tigers have got ball as he comes up to about the 34 yard line. First and 10 for the Andalusia Bulldogs. Place it at the 33. So Andalusia. Now, with a prospect of eight minutes left to play, they've got to score twice, and they've got to get the extra point. Next short to quarterback. Back to pass. He looks. The Elba Tigers are after him. It's incomplete. Incomplete. And short number 10. 
had pressure all over him from Bradshaw, number 80, and Richie Brown, number 55. It's incomplete, and that stops the clock with 7.46. Second and 10. Years. By Gary Bradshaw, number 80. Bradshaw from his defensive end just came pouring through there. Knocked short down, back inside the 30 at the 28 yard line. He keeps the football now. Short back up the pass. He looks, he fires. It is complete. And Shakespeare's got it. Shakespeare's going all the way. One man can get him, and he cannot do it as Andalusia strikes back on a beautiful long pass. They had a third and 16, and Shakespeare pulled it in from left short, and down the field he goes. So the point has been uh, narrowed now with 7.06, 28 to 19, 73 yards on the pass play. They have not been too successful passing, but uh, that time they were. And takes me give straight ahead to a pass into the end zone intended for one of the backs, Leon Hathaway, I believe number 27 coming out of there, and it was no good with 7.06 to go. With 7.06 to go, the Elba Tigers hang on to a 28-19 lead, and we'll be back in a moment. Pierce will kick it off, and here it is. It's touched. It's touched by one of the Andalusian Bulldogs, but I believe the Elba Tigers got it anyway. So, Marty Mahler directing the Elba Tigers gives to Stewart, and Stewart is knocked down as he is back. Loss of about a yard. Oh, no, the official says no loss on the play. They pushed him back, but no gain. Formation in the open backfield. Marty Marlin, the quarterback. Long count by Marty. Here's a pitch to Horstead. Horstead has got a blocker. Horstead is looking for somewhere to go. Horstead has got his first down as he moves to the 45, 40 yard line. On Andrew loses into the field. A pickup of 12 yards by the quarterback. Long count. He takes and he gives Jeff Stewart. Jeff Stewart gets yardage as he picks up five quick ones. Inside to the 34 yard line. Gain of five on the play. Second down, five yards to go. Five and a half minutes. Again with a long count. Horsted. Here's Horstead. Horstead looks inside at number 84, getting there just a little bit late again. The official let that one go, Lee Perry. Number 65, making the stop. Here's the pitch to Horstead. Horstead is looking for some running room. Horstead has got the first down. He's in the Andalusia backfield. He's running down inside the 20 yard line. Don Horstead gets the first down plus as he moves. There is a flag down. Flag down on the play. Clipping going to be the call against the Elba Tigers nullifying the first down. Well, let's see. It's hard to see. Across the way, where it is. Third down about 12. Here's a pass to Clayton Wood. Wood uh, still spinning. Wood just down. Flag down. And the loose is going to be charged with piling on. And that's Doug Collins. And Doug Collins hurt Russ Wood, and Russ is very slow getting up. Tigers threatening again. And Andalusia moves. Let's see if they call it against Andalusia or against the Elba Tigers. It is against Andalusia, 28 to 19, right now. Here's a give to Jeff Stewart. Stewart is running. He is down inside the five yard line before he's driven back. But it is a first down for the Elba Tigers. The ball is on the four-yard line. First down and goal to go from the one. Marty Mahler, on quarterback sneak, takes it straight ahead. Touchdown! Touchdown for the Elba Tigers. The Elba Tigers touch it out now to 34 to 19. 34 to 19 with 304 left to play. It is blocked. Extra point attempt. Blocked. No good. And as the teams come back up field to score, the Elba Tigers 34, the Andalusia Bulldogs 19. Just 
Taking the game to him. Here's Bradshaw's kick to Ball, number 15. Ball got a hole up the middle. And Ball is in the clear. The Elba Tracker. Catch him from behind in Elba territory. Down at the 30 yard line. Number 87 for the Elba Tigers, Chris English, had to run him down, but Ball had a tremendous run back as the hole opened up in the Elba middle. And Andalusia will play it from the, from the Elba 35-yard line. Here is Short, back to pass. He looks, he fires. <laughs> So wipe out the touchdown. The interception will stand. But a beautiful, beautiful interception by number 41, Mike Harrelson. He took it back all the way, but the six-pointer is not going to count. Superb in the ball game. Here's the gift to number 44, Jeff Stewart. Jeff gets up to about the 40-yard line before he's taken down. Second down for the Elba Tigers. The ball is at the 40. Long count by Marty Marler. May take a five-yard penalty. Gets it off before the Gavier's horse said. It just sort of took a juggling act. Moves it out for a yard or two. Number 30, making the stop to go. 60 seconds left to play in the ball game. Another long count by Marty Marler. He pitches to Horstead. Horstead is trying to get to the outside. He gets by one, but not the other. As number 44 makes the stop for the Andalusia Bulldogs. That's Monroe Rosick. Okay, so the Elba Tigers probably going to take another penalty here and uh, run the clock as much as they can. There's 37, 36, 35, and the clock is running down. Now back to him. He kicks it away, and it's going uh, up across midfield, and Andalusia is going to let it roll, and the Elba Tigers going to let it roll. It's down to seven, six, and they stop it there. Seven seconds left. And I believe, let's see, a uh, flag may be on the field somewhere. A lot of folks are out there. I don't see one anywhere. Coach Wood is out there. Fair. Here is the pass dropped by Shakespeare with three seconds left to play. The pass is incomplete. Somebody else is back in a prevent type defense. Here is the pass that is thrown incomplete. And that's it. End of the ball game, and the Elba Tigers have pulled off the upset of the year, maybe of the decade, beating the Andalusia Bulldogs 34 to 19. We'll be back with some final statistics in a moment. Officially, as everybody continues to celebrate in Tiger Stadium, the unofficial statistics as we have them, Horstead carried 21 times for 133 yards. Stewart carried 16 times for 155 yards. Marlon carried six times for 18 yards. The Elba Tigers picked up 306 yards against Andalusia. In the passing department, Marlon and Wood and Horstead put it up 12, uh, 20 times. They completed 12 for 108 yards. Total offense for the Elba Tigers unofficially 414 yards. Elba had 20 first downs. And they were fumbled one time. They lost it. Were penalized 51 and a half yards. Once again, the final score in Tiger Stadium, final game of the season, the Elba Tigers 34, the Andalusia Bulldogs 19. <laughs>